All right, here we are on Friday Night Praise and Prayer, Friday, October 28th. It's going to be such an exciting night to just worship and praise the Lord and then do praise reports. And as a presence falls, then we'll do intercessory prayers. So we want to hear your praise reports. We want to hear what your intercessory prayer requests are that we'll get to in the second half of the broadcast. What a beautiful time this is. And I just want to lift this up to the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this time that we can spend an hour and a half, 90 minutes of just praise and worshiping you, praying through it all. Lord, thank you for allowing us this privilege. And we just submit this time completely to you and for your glory and your glory alone. May you just bless everyone that listens to this broadcast. May you allow us just to put everything else away and just focus on you this next 90 minutes lord that's what this is all yes. about yes and uh yes lord, and may lord. we lift up and serve each other during this time and lord thank you thank you for giving us the backstage ministry so that we can um, all come together as a remnant and uh, serve others that are out there in the broadcast on all these different different uh, channels such as facebook and rumble etc uh, we just pray for a blessing on this time we say this in the name of jesus amen Hey guys, we will also be doing communion a, bit, a little bit later, so you might want to grab your elements, um, some drinks, and some and, uh, and some bread, right, that we will break together as a family of uh, believers and drink um, uh, to celebrate the Lord's Supper, um, a very important thing that we need to be doing during this time. And, uh, and we, we are going to be, uh, again, doing this every Friday night, so put this on your calendar. If you want to go deeper though come to the ministry that is that is i believe many of you are called to that and that is with this uh, nine squared ministry we talk about with the nine gifts of the spirit and nine fruits of the spirit together mixed with love joy peace patience with all the wisdom knowledge all, all the, the the gifts of healing the, the miracles as well as everything every, all nine of those right all mixed with the nine so it's a nine squared ministry come and join us just go to Back, blessedteach.com slash backstage. It's the backstage ministry. Blessed with the number two, teach.com slash backstage. We'd love to have more of you here and uh, join us. We do it on Mondays and Thursdays as well uh, as, a, as a family, just back with backstagers. And then we go public here on Friday night. And that's what we're about ready to do. And just uh, we just love it. And so, so we are going to start right now just worshiping and praising the Lord God Almighty. Can't? Um, well, Rick, this is a song we learned a few months ago. How we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. We love your name. Think about it tonight. And how we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. I love it. We love your name. tonight. 
full of your Holy Spirit, we love your name, yeah, and how we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one, we love your name, ah, how we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. other God can be called a heavenly father. No other God can be called a father. No other God can be called a close friend. No other God can be called the redeemer. No other God fragrance of your holy name ah, ah, we love the fragrance of your holy name you came and brought us into the reign of yes you did the reign of grace we love the fragrance of your holy Yes, the fragrance of your holy name, yeah. You came and brought us into the reign of grace. And we sing glory to the righteous one that is awesome. that again and we sing glory to the righteous oh it's so wonderful lord
and how we love you king of kings how we love you wow lord of lords how we it's so pleasant to dwell in unity together with our brothers in the presence of the lord how we love you lord of, do it again lord of connection let's come back in the name of Jesus <laughs> Rick do you want to greet everyone and say hey for a minute yeah I'll tell you what how exciting it is backstage here if you can see on camera we have uh, two we have people from all over the place including Sweden and Japan Vicky and Laura right from Japan uh, Annette up, up or left and Sweden uh, from Sweden and uh, up other parts of the United States as well with Monica and uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just awesome and Linda looks like, like Terry's coming on right now too so how exciting is that uh, we have a lot of other people backstage just want to acknowledge that Vicky and Terry and Scott and Monica and Linda and Katie and Annette and obviously we got Carla and Matt in the background helping us out here it's this beautiful thing and thank you for all of you on Facebook and Clout Hub and Rumble Rants I see uh, over a hundred of you on Rumble Rants so just welcome here we're going to be going through praise reports here shortly and then getting into um, a, a, a teaching on Joseph interpreting the Pharaoh's dream. And what's that? How's that apply to today? That's what I'd love to really get into. God's word always applies to today. That's the beauty of it. Yes. So we're going to get into that here shortly. So make sure you let us know if you have a praise report and if you have a prayer request, let us know online there. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Again, we have, a, we have a way for you to put them on a prayer wall on the B2T neighborhood. Just B2Tneighborhood.com. You can download on your phone too. And the na B2T neighborhood app on your on your iPhone or your Droid device. Just go to those Play Stores or the Apple Store and download that. And uh, you can bring those groups to join. And, and all these people that are backstage here will be the prayer warriors praying for you, the remnant praying for you. Wouldn't that be awesome? And how about getting into one of the groups with them in Zoom groups? It's a beautiful way. Um, but with that, Ken, I think uh, has, it looks like yes. it looks like it's back. <laughs> Here I am to worship. This song swept through the nation and then through the world. A light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. My heart adore you, hope of a life spent with you, a life spent with you, Lord, and here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say, together lovely 
Let's do that verse again. So profound, light of the world, you step down into our darkness. And we are very grateful, Lord Jesus. You stepped, that was very dark. 15 to 19, and you saved us from the darkness, Lord. Yes, light of the world. step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that made my heart adore you hope of a life spent in you I am and we do we worship tonight here I am to worship here I am to bow down here I am I'm saying out loud that you are my I'm singing out loud you're all together lovely all together all together wonderful to you and here's the bridge i'll never know how much it costs you and i will never know jesus how much it cost to see my sins yes upon your cross and i will never know how much did it cost how much did it cost to see my sin come on lift it up again i'll never know and i'll never know how much it cost it cost everything for you lord to see my sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it cost I want everybody to unmute and just say we thank you Jesus for your great sacrifice yeah. come on just we thank you Thank you, yes. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your great sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Back to you, Rick. Wow. Wow. What a wonderful wow. name it is. <laughs> what a wonderful name it is. I love that song. Oh my goodness. I could just do the 90 minutes on wonderful that song. Name. <laughs> oh, wow. I think we have some praise Jesus. reports as well. Here. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I know Teresa's Thank got a little you. delay there. So, uh, Teresa, you think you have a, got in. I think you have a praise report. So, if my, not once you're unmuted, why don't you go ahead and go with it? Who has it? Teresa. Ter Teresa has a praise report. Yeah. <laughs> She's got about a 30 second delay, so it makes it a little challenging here. So. But Teresa, can you do your praise report? We'll get it. Okay, guys. I'm not sure which is the greatest praise report. Right, right here. Am I am I still yeah, you, muted? No, no, no. You're on. Am I muted? You got to turn. You got to turn your other sound down. It's causing you to to oh, delay. Yeah. yeah, we can hear you straight up. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Um, I went to the gym this morning. I'm not sure which is the latest I went to the gym this morning and I walked halfway around the track and walked all the way back. <gasps> oh, hold on. Wow, praise the Lord. Okay, is that better? Yeah, yeah, Teresa, if you turn your sound down, you, 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 yeah, you'd be straight up, yeah. 
Hello? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me now? Teresa, you just got to go. You got a 30 second delay, okay. so you just got to go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I went to the gym this morning and I walked over halfway across the track mm. on the walker. And I stopped at that point because I was so tired. And one of the young ladies came over and she's the young woman I told you had uh, a daughter who works at a seminary in the Ukraine. And she said, can I sing a song for you? And I said, yes. She said, what do you want me to sing? I said, anything you want. <laughs> she sang, Jesus loves me. Mm. I started crying in the gym and everybody in the whole gym <laughs> is listening. And half of these people are not Christians. Some of them are Jews, some of them are agnostics, some of them are just nasty people, some of them are wonderful, but they all listened. And then she said, are you ready to walk back? I said, I have to walk back? And the lady said, yes, you have to walk all the way back. So I started walking back and I walked, I had to take a couple of stops on the way and I sat down and got back up. And when I got back to my place where I started, she came over and she said, I want to sing a song for you. She started singing in the garden and I started singing it with her. So here we are, two Christian women singing at the top of our voice. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the rose. And we're singing and everybody's listening. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. I didn't even care that I had just successfully walked the gym because we got to give praise to our father in that gymnasium. And it was amazing. I said, and wow. people kept saying, you have such beautiful voices. I said, did you hear the words? They said, yes. I was like, okay. That's all I wanted to know was they heard the word, they heard Jesus. And so I just wanted to say, I'm very tired tonight. <laughs> However, I walked <laughs> much further than I thought I could do it. And I just wanted to thank you all because I know you've been praying for me. And yes. each day is getting better and better. Wow. And we have a walking miracle here. And what's so amazing is uh, Teresa was in a wheelchair for six years, did not uh, even be able to get up and stand. And since she's been praising and worshiping here and praying with us, what's happened is uh, God's just doing little miracles all the time. And she stood up for the first time about, I don't know, three months ago or so. And now she's walking in her walker. Now she's walking. It's like amazing, just little miracles. We get praise reports almost every week from her. It's another example of God just listening to our prayers backstage here. So don't underestimate this. Get your praise reports you're in and your prayer requests in because God is doing miracles. It's crazy. And uh, amazing thing he's doing to, to, to people's life as well as, as, as the new, newfound hope. And Terry's another example of just newfound hope and this newfound confidence coming into everybody that, that comes into this ministry. Terry, go ahead. Sorry for the picture. I updated Zoom and I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm kind of just a dark shadow tonight. But um, mm -hmm. I, last night, um, Julie Green was on and she has been such a, a blessing for me um, as this ministry has. Um, I was always had had always considered myself a Lutheran, had gone to the Lutheran church. My children were all baptized um, in the Lutheran church. And I started losing, I, I won't say hope, but it wasn't the same. And it was because of all the encouragement of this ministry and of Julie Green that I absolutely things that i had allowed people from the church to poo, poo away from me things that i now see very clearly were signs and miracles that had happened in my life and people would discount them and so i minimized them wow. and through my affiliation back here backstage um i've come to realize that god was ever so much more present in my life and working in my life wow. um, and there is no going back there is absolutely no going back yes. because i'm a total Thank you, Lord. i i totally know that god is alive and god is working in our lives and god gives us signs 
and miracles. Um, they're just abundantly clear. And for that, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for this ministry, for having the prophets like Julie and Amanda, um, who give us words of encouragement, who allow us to grow in our faith to a level that I never, um, I always thought I was a faithful person. But what I've learned is there's so much more to faith. And I am just grateful for that. I'm grateful for all of these people backstage, um, for everything. It's just amazing. If you listen and you're open and you invite the Holy Spirit into your life, Man. it's amazing yeah. what can happen for you. Yes. Thank you so much, Terry. So, so awesome to hear these praise reports that, are, that come out of uh, people backstage. And we're just so thrilled to have you, Terry. And uh, such a privilege to just have every one of you backstage. And I, I tell you what, it's just, uh, anybody else has a prayer report, let me know here. Um, but uh, I can just tell you, as I am so thankful to have you all here on the broadcast and uh, on Rumble and Facebook and Clout Hub and Joshua TV as well as the neighborhood. Thank you for joining us live. And those of you who are watching the recording, just remember God, two or three in his name. I'm sure there's two or three probably watching it at the time you're watching it. <laughs> so just enjoy the presence of the Lord whenever you're watching yeah. this. And I'm just such a, how privileged am I to, to literally be able to take Mel Kay and be able to spend time and know her and, and, and interview her and, and, and Julie Green and all these wonderful believers that are coming to the to to the Blessed Teach show. It's just a huge privilege and to be able to be on media. I'll be in Missouri this weekend and uh, this next weekend um, to uh, celebrate with these wonderful people uh, at the Reawaken Tour. So come and see us um, at one of those events. I think you'll love it. And I'm just uh, so awesome about that. So Linda, Linda um, has a praise report on the allergy patches. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Well, the husband's still on the first patch. I keep watching, like it says, keep an eye on the patch, the writing. I still see words on it. Awesome. And he put on, he put on Wednesday and it's Friday. Awesome. So he's got one patch lasting three days. And so he had terrible allergies and, and uh, that's just the QE strong patches. It's another thing that he gets, uh, God's he gets, given us. Um, gets drainage. Wait. One thing he is when he lays down, he gets plugged up. But otherwise, um, it, we're, for some reason, I feel a lot more better at this out of medicine than any other. Awesome. Yeah, and the great thing is it just uses quantum frequencies without big pharma drugs. That's that's our that's really what our heart is, is that this big pharma medical cartel we've been talking against needs to needs to end, right? And uh, yeah. using natural frequencies and natural stuff is what we uh, to get off of these uh, harmful uh, side effect drugs. So, but thank you for that praise report. It's just so awesome. No problem. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Um, That's what anyone else want to get. Did, it, I don't know if Monica was raising her hand or, or you're just praising, but is anybody else? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if anybody else has anything on praise reports, let us know. But it's just what a privilege. Well, it's a, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say the time that um, we were at the Reckoning Fest and yeah. I was sneezing and it couldn't stop sneezing. My nose is running. And I took your allergy patch mm -hmm. and probably within a few minutes, I felt better, mm -hmm. like really better. And I felt great. And then a coworker of mine was just sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. And, and she's very skeptic. And I gave her a patch <laughs> and she texts me later. She's like, oh my God, this thing works. I need more. <laughs> So they they really work. They're awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, they have they have the word of God on them that that are specific to the to the issue, whether it's pain or it's allergy or it's anti anxiety. So we uh, you can get those at QE Strong, by the way. Just QE Quantum Energy Strong .com. Thank you so much. I didn't mean, didn't mean to to talk about that, but uh, uh, it's 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 a, just another <laughs> blessing. This ministry has been given. I believe. I think God gave us that company. So my brother runs it. Uh, just a huge privilege to get to work with him, my favorite person wow. in the world, as well as <laughs> see it help people. 
right now. Yes. It's awesome. We're going to continue well, to praise right. and worship right now. Yes. Lean back is the song. Remember Shalom, Shalom. We got the wonderful concert of the Prince of Peace. And you will never Your love sustaining me, yes. Before I even knew what love was, He pursued us even before we knew Him. You brought me here to rest. space to breathe yeah. so I'll stay still until it sinks in and real simply and softly I will lean back and I will lean back in the loving arms of a beautiful father I'll breathe deep Lord and I will breathe deep and know that you are good you're a love like no other just focus on Jesus tonight I will lean back and I will lean loving arms of a beautiful father I'm breathing deep Lord and I will breathe deep and know that you are good you're a love like no other sing it again you will never Forsake us or abandon us, Lord. Oh, and you will never leave. Your love sustaining me. Before I even knew what love. seeking us Lord before we even understood your salvation and you brought me here to rest you've given me space to breathe so I'll stay still until it all sinks in until it all sinks in until it all sinks in so here we go I will lean back and I will lean back in the loving arms of a beautiful father heavenly father heavenly father and I will breathe deep and know that you are. Lord, we release the shalom, shalom tonight into every home, into every room, into every person's life. I will lean back and I will lean back in the loving arms of a beautiful father. In the arms of my heavenly father in your arm and I will breathe deep and know that you are good you're a love like no other now here's the bridge the revelation that we have now I can see now I can see your love is better and all the others that I've seen and 
and I'm breathing deep of all your goodness, your loving kindness, and that awesome, your loving kindness to me. Now I can see your love is better than all. of all your goodness, your loving kindness, to do it one more time, and now I can see, your love is better than all the others. time and then Rick will do his teaching and I will lean back in the loving arms look at that of a beautiful father heavenly father thank you Lord and I will breathe deep and know that you are good you're a guys um we'll have all kinds of prayer warrior requests here at the second half of the praise and prayer here remember praise and worship the presence of the lord comes here we do a small teaching we're going to do communion tonight as well right after my teaching in about uh, five seven or eight minutes so if you have a time to grab your your drink and your bread you can only do it if you uh, are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ and have accepted him as your Savior. And we'll get our hearts ready for that as well. Um, but we want to make sure we're poured into you. So get your praise uh, reports in and your prayer requests because we want to uh, honor you as much as we can get to tonight, okay? Um, with that, I'm going to switch over to this screen here to just talk a little bit about Genesis 41. We can't get through it all because it's a very long chapter, but it's an awesome part of what we see, the unfolding of the 12 tribes of Israel and how God blessed them um, is despite all um, that was going on and all the sinful people that are part of uh, what God chooses to use anyway, right? And so it can all, all the stories that we read throughout Genesis can give us hope that... <laughs> Even though we fail, even though we are sinful, even though we do stupid things, that God still loves us and can use us in a mighty way, just like he used the Israeli people, his chosen people, even though they kept messing up, right? But this is a good a good uh, chapter here where we get to see Joseph, who literally went from a slave, right, where his own brothers, the other 11 people in the tribe of Israel, right, uh, these, these brothers, uh, um, we're going to kill him, but then decided, well, I want to sell him as a slave anyway. So you can see Joseph was probably a little arrogant, maybe, because if he pissed off all his brothers, <laughs> he probably was not was was probably bragging about he was going to be leading them over. Look at my dream I had, you know, shit hitting his chest. Going, and, uh, you know, so so he goes from a slave and then he then he gets, but God promotes him and blesses him. And so he, he, he really, uh, obviously, Joseph was seeking God. And then, uh, um, and then so he get, comes to the leadership in this household right in a key key area that was probably the secret service almost of pharaoh right and uh potiphar and potiphar's wife lies and uh gets gets the hot hots for uh joseph and 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 uh, wants to sleep with him he says no she's mad at him and after 10 or 11 years boom what happens um he goes to jail and the jail he interprets the dreams of the 
of, of a couple of inmates that are, that are part that served Pharaoh as well. And one of them remembers, he, he forgets for two years to, to tell, to thank Joseph for his interpretation. But here we go. So in Genesis 41 says, after two whole years, Pharaoh's dream that he was standing by the Nile and behold, there came up out of the Nile seven cows, attractive and plump, and they fed in the reed grass. And behold, seven other cows, ugly and thin, came up out of the Nile after them and stood by the other cows on the bank of the Nile. And the ugly thin cows ate up the seven attractive plump cows. And Pharaoh <laughs> awoke and he fell asleep and dreamed a second time. And behold, seven ears of grain, plump and good, were growing on one stalk. And behold, after them sprouted seven ears, thin and blighted by the east wind. And the thin ear swallowed up the seven plump, full ears. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold, it was a dream. So in the morning he his spirit was troubled and he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all its wise men. Pharaoh told them the dream, but there was none who could interpret them to Pharaoh. Then the chief cupbearer said to Pharaoh, I remember my offenses today when the Pharaoh was angry with his servants and put me and the chief baker in custody in the house of the captain of the guard. We dreamed on the same night and I each having a dream with its own interpretation. A young Hebrew was there with us, a servant of the captain of the guard. When he, we told him, he interpreted our dreams to us, giving us interpretation to each man according to his dream. And he, as he interpreted to us, so it came about. I was restored to my office and the baker was hanged. We talked about that last time. If you're following the show, where we talk usually teachings on Mondays, Thursdays, and now as well as here on Friday. Um, the Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they quickly brought him out of the pit. And when he had shaved himself and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I had a dream, and there is no one who could interpret it. I have heard it said of you that you will hear a dream, you can interpret it. Now, interesting, this is the time Joseph could have glorified himself. And what does Joseph do? Joseph answered Pharaoh, it is not me. God will give Pharaoh a favorable answer. You can see so a little bit of this probably this pride and arrogance that maybe was there why he why why the brothers were so frustrated with him is gone he's given complete complete credit to where it deserves it right then pharaoh said to joseph behold in my dream i was standing on the banks of the nile seven cows plump and attractive came up from the nile and fed in, in the reed grass seven other cows came up after them poor very ugly and thin thus as i had never seen in the land of egypt and thin, ugly cows ate up the seven plump cows, but they, when they had eaten them, no one would have known that they had eaten them, for they were still as ugly as the beginning. That's new details we get in the second telling of this, that the ugly cows ate all that and they still weren't fat, right? Then I awoke. I also saw in my dream seven ears growing on one stalk, full and good, seven ears withered, thin and blight, and the east wind sprouted after them and the thin ears swallowed up the seven good ears and I told it to the magicians but there was no one who could explain it to me then Joseph said to him the dreams of Pharaoh are one God was revealed to Pharaoh that he is about to do the seven good cows are seven years and the seven good ears are seven years the dreams are one the seven lean and ugly cows that came up after the seven years and the seven empty ears blighted by the east winds are also seven years of famine it is it is as i told pharaoh god has shown to pharaoh what he is about to do there will come seven years of great plenty throughout the, all the land of egypt but after them there will arise seven years of famine and the plenty will be forgotten in the land of egypt and this is interesting you know, and some of our some of the prophetic words from Julie Green and others, we're hearing that after God takes out this cabal, it's going to be like they never existed, right? I believe that that, that that's part of what God does when He does a bit does a thing. Everything else is forgotten, right? The famine will consume the land, and the plenty will be unknown in the land by reason of the famine that will follow, for it is very severe. And the doubling of Pharaoh's dream means that the thing is fixed by God, and God will shortly bring it about. So he got two dreams, just like two or three witnesses. 
to confirm that God is doing this. Now therefore, let Pharaoh select a discerning and wise man and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh proceed to appoint overseers of the land and take one fifth of the produce of the land of Egypt during the seven plentiful years. And let them gather all the food of these years that are coming up and store up grain and the authority under the authority of Pharaoh for the food in the cities and let them keep it. That food shall be a reserve for the land against the seven years of famine that are to occur in the land of Egypt so that the land may not perish through the famine. And what's interesting about this is that they probably had a 10% tax already, but now he uh, is saying the one fifth is 20%. So they're doubling it to prepare for this worst thing. And we talked about, we talked about us preparing for the storm, right? That's going to be happening. A lot of you have done that. And this is what uh, another parallel to our times right now, this hard, rough time. And we're preparing uh, for the storm. And then after the storm, the best is yet to come, right? And the best was yet to come here for Joseph. Here he was going from serving as a slave to, to, uh, to going into prison. And now all of a sudden he is in front of Pharaoh and we'll see next time how he rises to power, literally being the second most powerful in all of Egypt behind Pharaoh. And really, Pharaoh did not just give him the task to do what he's talked about here. He saw the wisdom. He saw God in him, right? And it was practical wisdom. And just think about that. Joseph had knowledge because of God gave it to him about what was going to happen. But he had wisdom of what to do as well. So there's a big difference. That the, the, it seems like the world has a lot of knowledge out there and all these scientists and everything, but very little wisdom. He's given the remnant the wisdom because the fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom. So you have that. We're going to use that wisdom to get and let God use us in a mighty way for his kingdom as we move forward. And with that, uh, we'll move into the next teaching uh, um, we'll, um, probably next week. I'm going to be traveling a lot, uh, seeing the grandkids this weekend uh, in Detroit and all the way into Missouri. So I'm all over the place, but we'll get into this probably in about a week or so where we really understand how this relates to today, Joseph rise to power. But right now we're gonna move into a short communion service. Um, be, just to just worship again. It's another way to worship the Lord our God and remember what Christ did for us on the cross, right? Remember, this is all about salvation and we're remembering that he saved us. And how did he save us? He saved us through his death on the cross. And so that blood of Jesus is a sacrifice for us. So when God looks down, he has to judge because he's a just God. He's a loving God, but he's also just. So he has to judge sin. When he looks down, he's going to see the perfect life of Christ instead of your sins. That's how you get in heaven. And it's a narrow path. It's 100% Jesus and his salvation and 0% you and what you've done. So let's acknowledge how we are saved by, by, by grace alone, by grace, by faith alone, and nothing to do with works. Now, once we love him, we will do good works, right? But let's move into that right now. Let's move into this little, little this is a summary of a, of a, of a real short one. Um, before I do this, though, I'm going to give you just a chance to just make sure the, it's very clear that, that we will not do ourselves any favor if we take communion and we don't have our hearts right. We need to confess our sins right now, be clean before God before we do this communion, okay? So if you wouldn't mind just, just anybody before you do this, otherwise you can just observe us doing it. If you haven't accepted Christ, please don't do this. If you have not, don't get your heart clean right now, don't do this. This is for believers in Christ and for the Holy Spirit in them when you're cleaning your heart and for confessing your sins so we can do this right now. So let's do that right now. Just take about uh, 20 seconds and just confess to God and get your heart right. And with that, let's proceed to this. It says, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. All who came to me shall not hunger, and all who believe in me shall not thirst. With Christians around the world and throughout the centuries, we gather around these symbols of bread and wine, simple elements that speak of nourishment and transformation. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you are as close 
to us as breath. And you lo your love is consistent and unfailing. We thank you for all that sustains life, and especially for Jesus Christ who teaches us how to live an ethic of justice and peace and for the promise of the transformation made manifest in his life, death and resurrection. We ask you to bless this bread and this cup. Through this meal, make the body of Christ that we may join with you in promoting the well-being of all creation. Amen. So we remember on the night when Jesus and his disciples had their last meal together, Jesus took the bread. It was a big piece of bread in there, sharing it all at the same table. So you can imagine us doing that now. Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and he gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body, which is broken for you. Take and eat it as often as you do, remembering me. So let's take the bread together. In the symbol of the broken bread, we participate in the life of Christ and dedicate ourselves to being his disciples. In the same way he took the cup, and this is where obviously you can use wine or grape juice or just water, but whatever it is, just, to, just to, the idea is, is really understand what this is about Jesus' blood. It's going to be the covering for us. Remember the power of the blood of Christ. This is, this is this important moment, guys. In the same way he took the cup, after, and after giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant poured out for you and for many. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So we can drink it now. share across the table let us pray you know in no in this symbol of the cup we participate in the new life christ brings we talk about new beginnings right we just celebrated that with rosh hashanah new beginning i believe we're going to a new beginning as the best is yet to come as this cabal falls and we are elevated into his glory and it's those who of the remnant are just submitting to him amazing things are going to happen this next year let us pray. We give thanks, loving God, that you have refreshed us at your table. Strengthen our faith. Increase our love for one another. As we have been fed by the seed that became grain and then became bread, may we go out into the world and plant seeds of justice, transformation, and hope. Amen. And with that, we're going to continue to lift up the Lord and get your prayer requests in so we can lift you up as well. We love you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a lover of your presence. A lover of your presence, Lord. A lover of your presence. It's all I want to be. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence, Lord. A lover. all I want to be lifted up again. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. It's all I want to be. I'm a lover of your presence. A lover So right after communion, let this be a sacrifice, Lord. And let this be a sacrifice. Let me dedicate my life to worshiping you. And let this be my sacrifice. 
Let me dedicate my life to worshiping you. Sing it again. Well, Lord, this is my sacrifice. Right here I dedicate my life to worshiping you. Worshiping you. Heavenly Father, bring it back to us. It's all I want to be. I'm a lift up the uh, broadcast here. I have, have an internet issue. It looks like we lost sound on Kent for a little bit, so we'll get that fixed here in a second. But we're just going to continue to worship the Lord God Almighty. How awesome is it to be able to have um, worship music while we uh, while we just bask in Him? And uh, we're gonna we're gonna move to some prayer requests while we wait for Kent to come back. So I'm gonna go all the way to the top. And those of you that uh, are backstage, keep your camera on if you want to do do a prayer and all this kind of um, bring this to anyone. If there's something that somebody you want to pray for, let me know, backstagers. Um, but here I'm going to take each one of these here. There's a, there's a Mel J that says, I just pray for healing. And so, uh, Monica, would you mind um, praying for Mel J for healing? Sure, sure. <coughs> Father God, we lift up, um, is it Mel you said? I'm so sorry. Mel J. Mel J. Mel J. Father, we lift up Mel J in the name of Jesus for healing. You know exactly, exactly what needs to happen for the healing to take place, Lord. And we're asking you to come upon Mel and to bring your Holy Spirit so that there may be healing and growth. You are the great healer of the world and we need you and Mel K needs you. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for this healing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And I just love it. So, so we have so many prayer warriors back here. That's the beautiful thing about this. And so Mel J, we just pray that you, uh, and again, one of the things that God's done for us is we've asked for the nine, nine gifts. So if you look at the nine gifts, you can pray for, for one or all nine, right? Or three or four. Pray for those. What we've done as a body. And uh, I believe as, 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 as uh, we pray, in fact, you can do this yourself, as you can actually pray, God, give me the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, this is an example. And uh, often you'll feel the tingling in your hands, and he'll, he will give this to you if you do that, and you can do it in a loving way. That's why we have the gifts of the Spirit as well as the fruits of the Spirit together. Because you want to do this with love and joy and peace. There's Kent back. All right, Kent, why don't we finish this song a little bit before we continue with prayers? <laughs> Yeah, because the finish, the bridge goes, I was made for love. I was made for love. I was made for loving you, Jesus. Yeah, well, I was made for love. I was made for love. I was made for loving you. Sing it out, and I was made for love, and I was made for love. I was made for loving you, yeah. I, and I was made for love. I was made for love. Come on, one more time. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I'm a lover of your presence, a lover of your presence, Lord, a lover of your presence. It's all I want to be. I'm a lover of your presence, so rich, a lover of your presence, a lover. It's all I want to be. I'm a lover of your presence, Lord. A lover. 
lover of your presence. Well, let's start praying, Rick. It's time to pray. I saw Monica praying. I appreciate that. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. So we have quite a few prayer requests here. So we're just going to go one by one. Again, if there's somebody you want to pray for, it's kind of hard for me to see because I'm going back and forth, but I'll try to get to those as well. I'm just looking real quick to see. Um, but I think most of these prayer warriors just say, hey, send it to me, right? So keep your camera on and we'll, we'll have you. And this is, by the way, this is a prayer warriors that you can join when you, when you, when you come to this ministry. Uh, you, you can come back here and praise with us. You don't have to have your camera on or you can be a prayer warrior with us. But you could also be part of this neighborhood of free platform. Just download that. It's, it's at b2tneighborhood.com. And you can put your prayer request on the wall if we don't get to you. So here we go. Let's go through some of these. Um, and so we got a Facebook request from Nancy Myers. And so I was going to give this to, I just kind of had rearranged it to Vicky from Japan. So, so my 16-year-old grandson needs a creative healing for his body by the it, sinless shed blood sacrifice on the cross. He bore this deformity. No other God can do creative miracles. Only Jesus Christ, the son of the living God of, of creation. All glory belongs to the Father. Amen. So this is Nancy's 16-year-old grandson, wow. Vicky. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Very good. Nancy Myers, we lift you and your grandson, your 16-year-old grandson. How grand it is to have a grandson to appreciate him and to be so privileged to to lift him up to Jesus because Jesus did it all. There is power in his name. There is glory. There is precious in his name. So they ask you to speak his name continually over your grandson to say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He is the Word. He is the Creator. So we ask for the creation to go forth, the Holy Spirit to continually hover over Him, the peace of Jesus to be in your home, the comfort of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom and the knowledge for each step to take. And Father God, we ask that all of this come to pass quickly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayers all the way from uh, from Japan. We got Jan Butcher now. And so I was going to ask uh, Annette to, this is, we need a buyer for our business. So this Jan Butcher needing, needing a buyer for their business. So all the way from Sweden, this is this prayer. And so you're still, uh, you're muted. <laughs> I'm sorry. There you go. So uh, Jan uh, yeah, Butcher. But, yeah, Jan. Buy, buy her for her, the, their business. Mm. Jan. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, oh, we thank you that we can lift up Jan to you. And we know that you love us through Jesus Christ, that we are saved through Jesus Christ. And we know when we call for you, Father, in the name of Jesus that is over all other names. We know you hear us and you want to bless us. And we thank you and praise you that we can lift you up. Oh, Father God, and we can lift up Jesus, your son, that is the most precious of all who died for us. With his precious blood, we know that we have what we ask for. And we thank you that we can lift up Jan once again now and ask for a buyer to their comp to her company or his company. That there will be a buyer. You will send a buyer to this uh, uh, company uh, that will be sold. It will be sold in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise you, we thank you, and we are in agreement. There will be a buyer in agreement in this situation, in agreement. Thank in you. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Thank you. Love, love the international prayer warriors. We have another Facebook request. Let's see if Julie can grab this one. It's a Yvonne Gomez says, "Yes, I have a prayer for my family. We have been destroyed. We're not sure so what 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 that means exactly, but she says, God, please protect." So, Julie, would you pray for Yvonne? In the I will pray for Yvonne. I will pray absolutely. We pray for Yvonne, for her family to be completely restored, for every satanic radar that is aimed at her, let it be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus, every satanic attack against of her life to be destroyed in Jesus' name. We paralyze all satanic operations against her, her family, her ministry, her life, her loved ones in Jesus' name. We hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against the powers of doctors over her in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we stand against every entrapment set up distraction against her. We smite it with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. We stand in the blood of Jesus to declare ourselves to be unshakable and movable in Jesus' name. Let every Goliath doing this, trying to challenge her family, be paralyzed now in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Julie. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to get to some more prayers here after another song or two. I wanted to let you guys know that, uh, so, so we'll put some more in if you'd like that prayer request. This ministry has been, compl- uh, been specifically called out by God to pray for the rescue of children. We call it PCR, Project Children Rescue. Changing the PCR name from good to bad, right? That we're going to have these children rescued and we're going to pray in the power and of Jesus' name, the name above all names in the blood of Christ. And then also uh, uh, the soldiers that are rescuing them, we, we want prayer for them as well as calling down the news media nationwide that are giving propaganda. We're going to call that down. Those are three things that are very specific he wants us to pray about. So we'll get to that here in a second. If you have any prayer requests too, let us know. If there's anything we missed, make sure you get on the prayer wall at the, at the B2T neighborhood. Right, just go to the written prayer request group with that, uh, Kent. Let's lift him up. Waymaker, waymaker, waymaker. We haven't done it for a while. Well, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. This 
This is who you are. 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 This is who this is who you are. This is who you are. This is who you are here touching. You are here touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here healing, healing every heart. I worship you. In the back of this verse, you're turning lives around. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you, Lord. We worship you. You are here, mending, mending every heart. with all your heart your soul you're singing out well way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are it's awesome yeah way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness stop you never stop working come on everybody with all your heart and mind yeah. even when I don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never st in that awesome you never stop you never stop working even when I don't see it you work even when I don't feel it, you work it. You never stop, you never stop work. Come on, one more time. Yeah. Even when I don't see it, you work it. It's awesome. Yeah. You never stop, you never stop working. Come on, one more time. Yeah. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. And this is perfect time to enter right back into prayer, Rick. He never stops working. Psalm 121, he doesn't sleep or slumber. Amen. I love it. I love it. So, uh, Charlotte, um, did, we have just um, a, a, a generic request from Sarah Brown. Said, would you please pray for me? Thank you. <laughs> so, Sarah Brown, what do you do? Praise you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for Sarah Brown. Father God, you Woo! knew her inside and out. You know every nuance about her, Lord God, about her family, about the things that she cares about, about what's deeply bothering her right now, Lord. And I pray that she would do exceedingly abundantly above all she can even ask or imagine. In Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Wow, she's just filled with the Spirit. I just love to hear her pray. So, so all, all these prayer warriors backstage, I just love to hear them pray. 
Um, and we're going to move. Uh, I would like Roz maybe to read one of her prayers. She's uh, just a, she, in the neighborhood. You'll see her pray almost every morning. It's this beautiful, powerful prayer that she writes out um, that you can participate in. So get to the b2tneighborhood.com or download it on your app. But Roz, would you mind sharing uh, what's ever on your heart with one of your prayers? Lord of glory, in these times with so much taking place, so much that is still unseen, we praise you for moving your mighty hand across America and the world. Wow. The red wave in America's November midterms is going to be one, the likes of which nobody has ever seen before. The cabal has lost all their power and God is in control. Ooh. Praise Jesus. Lord, with things becoming more intense as the days pass by, we look deeper into your word, listening more to your trusted prophets, and have faith and trust in your almighty power. Looking around, listening, closing our ears to the sounds and words spoken, we shut them out. We only believe what God our Father says. We have faith in only our Lord and Savior and your plan. Lord, we ask for clarity, understanding, discernment, insight to what is happening around us as the cabal falls. We ask you to clear away the confusion that can enter our heads when we are not understanding what is happening. God Almighty, we also ask that with your grace, your guardian angels continue to protect Donald Trump and his family from the enemy that is conti that continues to attack him. We ask for your divine intervention. Any attacks made against President Trump or his family are squashed before they e can wow. even manifest, including wow. the threat of arrest that is being talked about. Lord of glory, you are our magnificent wow. protector and our glorious King of Kings, and we praise your glorious name every day with love and adoration in our hearts. Glory to the great I am, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Wow. Oof, I love it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> we got prayer warriors in the house today. Uh, I think everybody's participated that has their camera on right now in some part of the, uh, the this broadcast. I wanted to set for Gus, who's come on, and he's kind of in the dark. Uh, I know he's had to go, get, drive to a good area because he's traveling right now. Uh, but Gus, Gus, there's somebody from, um, I know Linda gave it to me, Atlanta from Brazil or Thailand to say save, save the children. So obviously this is a worldwide problem. Brazil and Thailand have big problems with, with, the, with children um, with trafficking as well as all the, these rituals that go on. And this is Elena, I think it's L-A-N-A, asking for this prayer request. So uh, Gus, are you are you available to, to pray? Or, I don't know if you have a good connection or not. I can give it a try. Can you hear me okay? Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Abba Father, this is this is a an issue that's close to all of our hearts. Father, we know it's close to your heart because your whole plan is to put an end to evil and darkness. So Lord, we pray in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word of God that from the beginning that created all things and all things that were created were created by him without him, was not anything created. You're all powerful. You suffered, died, and was buried and rose again, and you're seated at the right hand of the Father. And all authority is under you, Lord, and you've given that authority to us, your bride. And we call down the cabal, we call down human trafficking, we call down anyone that that suffers from pedophilia or that has accepted these evil spirits that want to harm children or any any adults even, Lord, and, and we call down human sacrifice. We call your holy angels in of all rankings and divisions to conquer them and defeat them once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ to protect every child, Lord, let down another child be harmed in any way, shape, or form, Lord. We ask this and pray this, we demand this in the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names, who just sits and waits. The angels sit and wait for us to dispatch them. So they are now dispatched in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. I'm going to kind of come back to thank you so much, Gus. 
um, some of the people that did prayer praise reports but haven't been able to pray. So I'm going to ask uh, Teresa. Um, hopefully the phone will work here. Um, so we got uh, Liberty Woman. This is a, this is that's that's the handle. So this Liberty Woman from um, Rumble is saying. Uh, to be used more by the Father God in the lives of others in very specific ways. He would like me to do this to further his kingdom. So Liberty Woman would like to pray or prayer report. If, uh, Teresa, you wouldn't mind doing that. Sure. Dear Father God, we just thank you for Liberty Woman. And we ask you to help her and strengthen her and give her wisdom and knowledge exactly what you want for her to do in this kingdom. Give her guidance, give her protection, and just show her exactly, step by step, what she's supposed to do. Don't leave her in confusion. Take care of her, cover her, and protect her, and help her to do exactly what you want. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Amen. And then Terry, if you wouldn't mind taking this other one from Rumble, it says, please keep our sons and daughters safe in the military and this is goes right along with us praying for the soldiers right and i think it is oten o-t-e-n is the handle i was praying for that um, terry would you mind yeah that's fine our heavenly father we come to you this evening um with humble hearts and we ask that you protect our military this is um something that you've put heavy on the hearts of everybody in backstage. Please keep the military safe, um, especially for Oten, Oten's um, children who are in the military. We ask that you dispense and uh, disperse your guardian angels, your great angels, to keep them safe and to direct them in the manner that you need to, to have them go. Keep them safe, keep the family, um, assured that you're in charge and you will keep them safe. Um, wherever they may go, whatever the mission may be, we know that you are the great I am and you will, you will protect them and you will help them come back to their families safely. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we're going to wrap up with hey, hey, the blowing the shofar, but go ahead. Go ahead, Ken. Uh, well, Jamie, uh, on... Uh, well, our channel said, Kent, please pray for me to receive speaking in tongues for God. So I want everybody to join me tonight. Jamie, I want you to hear me. It's a prayer language, the tongue of men and angels. And so tonight we're going to pray that you're filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. When you don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit helps you pray and prays through you. So, Father, tonight we pray for Jamie. Fill with the Holy Spirit right now. Fill with your Holy Spirit. And release her prayer language from the inside out, from deep in her heart. And she knows how to worship, Lord. We thank you for the power of a prayer language that you have given men the tongues of, the tongues of men and angels are real, God. And it's going to help her be strong in the Lord and the power of your might. Fill with the Spirit. And Lord, we release tonight her prayer language that she'll go to the next level with the power of your Holy Spirit. And there it is, Lord. It's right there. You open your mouth and he said, I'll fill it. I saw a, a little vision. You're dreaming and you're, you're praying in your prayer language in the dream. You go, that's awesome. Well, it comes right now. It comes right now. The power of a prayer language from your heavenly Father fill with the Holy Spirit. And you can begin to pray. Open your mouth. And God said, I will fill it in the name of Jesus. We pray it now, Father, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Thanks, Rick. Wow. Thank I didn't know you. if you could see that or not. That's, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. I missed that one. That was, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So beautiful. Yes. What, what, a, what a great, great praise and prayer. It's been a, it's been a great praise and prayer. It's been a great, great love, uh, praise and prayer. 
<laughs> so uh, we, we burned through that hour and a half of, of just, uh, wow, what a beautiful time. I did want to get Rebecca and Steve a chance to, to just to pray for the last three things, our mission here at, uh, as, as we blow our shofars to end this. Um, and then uh, lift up uh, any of the three things. You can split it up between the two of you if you'd like or just one of you. But where again, it's the soldiers, it's rescuing the kids, and taking down the news media that is uh, controlled by the cabal nation, you know, across the nations. Um, so for Rebecca and Steve, don't mind, uh, end us up and then we'll blow the shofars after that. Father, we've heard so many lies over the years, over the centuries, over the millennia, Lord. The lies, because that's all the devil can tell, the lies, Lord. But the truth, you are the truth in the way, in life. And Jesus, we pray that you shut down this cabal, this, this, this then of thieves, these lies that they've been perpetrating on, on your people. We ask, Lord, that you give your people your light, this, a little bit of that light to shine inside of them. And not that door. So all they need is a little bit so that their truth can come into them. Just blow up, just travel through their systems, just realize they've been taken and let them at this love, just just let your love envelop them, Lord, and lift them up. The children, Lord, that, that have been uh, horrible, horrible, horrible situations, Lord, we just pray for these children, Lord, that you would raise them up and you would heal them. And the people and the men and the women, persons and others who have stepped forward on the front line and, and, and given their life for, for these children. And, and to complete this task, Lord, in your name, we, we raise them up, we give them, we ask them, Lord, we ask you that you would give them the strength they need, the physical strength, the mental strength, the emotional strength to get through this horror. But when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, know that the will will be done, that the evil can fall, that the evil of this world will be banished, vanquished. So, Lord, we raise up, raise up the children, raise up the shoulders, we raise up all the people who are listening to you now on the backstage. Raise up in your name, we glorify your name. We glorify your name. And we thank you, Jesus, for this day. We thank you for every moment, for every breath we take. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Rebecca, did you want to add anything? Heavenly Father, we just thank you. You just put on my heart um, our children in the schools. And I want to pray for them right now. I want to pray that the the lies will cease, that you will take over those teachers' mouths, that the truth will come out, that they not be discouraged when they see the things going on in the world, because you and you alone, God, are the miracle worker. You can turn things around in a heartbeat. It's, this is your kingdom. And we call upon you as your servants Take it back to show us your glory, Lord, and to give hope in a future that you have for us, for those children that are now looking at things dimly, seeing and to grasp onto it, dig into your word and call on your name. In Jesus' name, amen. And with that, we're gonna we're gonna blow our shofars and make a noise make us here in a second. But what that is doing is we are calling on the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and the Lion of Judah to come down and make judgment on those that won't won't repent and remove this cabal from all its places. And all and and, and bring in that Lion of Judah, uh, Lord, and all and, and angels from all rankings and divisions to be with these soldiers, to rescue these children, and to call down this media worldwide that's lying and having propaganda. May truth come back into the media. And Lord, we call this all down in the name of, in the, in the name of Jesus. Blow our shofars, or make noise.
any way you'd like. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly <laughs> Let our children go. Oh, yes. Tell them all that right yes. now. Yes. Uh, we love you guys so much. Uh, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah, thank you for joining us on this uh, wonderful Friday night praise and prayer. Put this on your calendar, 6 p.m. CST each Friday night. Those of you who want to go deeper with this ministry, you're invited. Come and see. I say that all the time. You're going to see Jesus back here. And what you do is you just go to blessedteach.com slash backstage. <laughs> And the backstage ministry is uh, just a beautiful place to be. And the uh, Lord's really called us to some, some important tasks. And uh, we love all of you, by the way, uh, that wow. have joined us here. We want to just uh, serve you on Friday nights as well as Mondays and Thursdays. Remember, we mm. do that. We also have great mm. um, part of backstage is uh, being backstage with like Julie Green and Mel uh, Kay the last couple of times. Uh, just wow. all these different wow. great patriots to come back there. Amanda, Donna <laughs> Clement. Who, it's just what a privilege it is. Um, to be able to just refresh them and, and send them back out to battle. Um, but we love you guys. Make sure that you, uh, you, you, you join us as much as you can here. Um, Kent, thank you so much. Do you have any uh, last words? No, this has been a part. I'm with you, bro. You burn through 90 minutes because it's full of his glory and his presence. So we're just going to keep on going for his glory. Praise God. Awesome. So if everybody wouldn't mind unmuting and saying goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Have a blessed night. Have a blessed Everybody stay safe. God bless y'all. God bless you. Thank you. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. God bless you guys. I got home. Thank you, Thank you, Ken. Bye. 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 Blessing. Blessing. I got.